Hopefully this is going to be a short video on temperature. EEV blog member RBM or Robert, he posts that he owns one of the fabulous EEV blog branded BM235 multimeters. Talks about it being a great little meter, quickly becoming his go-to meter. He goes on to say that I love that the meter came with a thermocouple probe to measure temperature, but the readings are inaccurate, making me doubt that I can rely upon it. I first began to doubt the accuracy when I tested the tip of my soldering iron, set at 350 degrees C, but read 250 degrees C. Well, that's not too surprising. And then he goes on to say, and then my Weller Hot Air Rework Station set at about 650F, but reads about 625F. I tested not very scientifically measuring known temperatures, ice at zero and boiling water at 100. The indicated readings were minus 2C and 97 degrees respectively. Then he goes on to talk about it maybe be attributing to his techniques or also a mismatch between the characteristics of the probe and the meter. In his last comments he talks about he could go out and buy a more accurate temperature probe that can measure within the range he needs up to 500 degrees C. Okay, so let's take a look. This is the manual that comes with the BM-235. And if we look at the temperature range, we can see its maximum range is 400 degrees C. So I'm not quite sure how our member decided he can read 500 C with this. Maybe the meter can read up this high. I don't know. So this is the original probe. I have never used this one. This came with the BM-235. And here we have a probe more like what I would typically be using. And here we have a probe that was included with one of the fluke meters. So in the center we have the EV blog rebranded BM-235. To the right of that the Bryman BM-869S. And then to the left this is a Maztec meter. It's rebranded under Centac as a part number P98674. This is definitely the cheapest of the three meters. So let's just compare these three different probes with these three different meters. So there's a couple of different ways we can create some high temperatures. Like Robert had suggested, he used a soldering iron. I certainly could do that as well. 500C is a little hotter than what I would want to be running this up to, but certainly for lower temperatures we could try using this. I have another way I can generate some even higher temperatures. In the center this is an oxygen sensor for a car. I use this for data logging and this is a test block for it. As you can see I can attach a second O2 sensor here. And you can see I have four fire stick heaters mounted in this block and attached here is a thermocouple. So what I can do is heat this block in excess of 500 degrees C without any problem. And with that we can see really what is the upper range of this BM-235. Looks like 450 degrees C is its maximum. So again getting back to the BM-235 you can see they specify this over a range of minus 40 to 400 degrees C. And while the meter functions far beyond this 400 degrees C it does seem to top out at about 450 degrees C even. And unfortunately that does not appear to meet RBM's uh, requirements of 500 degrees C. And you can see I didn't really see a difference between using the three different probes. 
Well, I hope you found this video informative. I think that's all for now. Until the next meter, later.